Hi, my name is Nick Kakalas from Finance Unlimited. Today I'm here to talk to you about the importance of a sound personal protection strategy when investing in property. Whether it is a family home or an investment property, chances are that when you buy, you are getting yourself into debt to do so. It is therefore very important to ensure that your insurances, especially your life insurance and income protection, are adequate to cover the extra debt and to provide for your family should you not be able to provide an income. There is this common misconception that given many super funds do provide insurance, people believe that they are covered. In actual fact, most people only have the minimum default cover of $250,000 worth of life insurance. Now, given how Melbourne's property prices have been going over the last 5, 10, even 15 years, for many people that is clearly not going to be enough to repay the mortgage, let alone provide for the family left behind. Life insurance can be critical for a secure financial future. In simple terms, you insure yourself for a particular amount, and in the unfortunate event that you die, the insurer pays that amount. The lump sum payment can be used to help with the repayment of debts, the covering of future needs, for example, the cost of children's education or long-term care, as well as providing funds for investment to generate an income. We don't like to think about worst case scenarios, but taking some time to consider the risks and having a contingency plan in place is like carrying an umbrella. It can't stop the rain, but can provide much needed financial protection during life storms. Income protection insurance is designed to provide a regular income in the event that you are unable to work due to sickness or injury. Generally, income protection insurance provides a regular income during a period of disablement for up to a predetermined and agreed benefit period. The benefit amount payable is usually up to 75% of your income. Let's take a 35 year old earning $100,000 per annum. Simplistically, without any promotions or wage increases, this person will earn $3 million over the next 30 years to retirement. This is much more than the value of the average home, yet the majority of income earners don't insure their largest asset, their ability to earn income. Our cars are worth much more than this and are always insured. Your home, car, food, clothing, children's education all depend on your income. That's why for many, the loss of income resulting from the inability to work due to sickness or injury can cause serious financial hardship. When you think of how your lifestyle could be affected, it simply doesn't make sense to overlook this important cover. Other insurances which should form part of your protection strategy are total and permanent disability and trauma insurance. Everybody's needs are different and that's why it is always advisable to seek professional assistance from your accredited insurance advisor to make sure that your package is tailored to your needs. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can get me at nick at financeunlimited.com.au or on 03 9379 7244. Thank you.